Over the years, I've tried to develop the pickleball pick in relationship to the ever-changing landscape of pickleball itself. Dawn is holding the pick 35, which we used about two and a half years ago to pick up 35 balls. You can see as it picks up the balls, the clips go aside and they force the balls up. Well, I also, in order to make a hopper out of this, I created what I call the pick square, which the device fits into. There's two little dots there that helps you to line up the two side clips in order to establish a, a nice hopper to, to, for the players to work out of. The next pick that I call is the pick 65 that snaps together to help it to kind of store better that way. And then it will also hold 65 to 70 balls. And there's a handle in the front, which you use, and of course, uh, if the thing gets a little bit heavy in relationship to picking the balls up. This pick was uh, made as a result of the new uh, devices coming out, the Simon machine and the pickleball tutor. In the past year, someone came to me and said, how about transporting the balls more uh, in a, a more efficient manner? And they suggested maybe a, a zipper on them. So I've come up with this device. This one here, as Dawn is opening it up, is called the PIC32 Zip. It zips up, as she shows there, after you get done with your workout, you can take the zipper, put it together, zip it together and throw it into the back of the car and transport it home. The one to its far left then is called the Pick 44 Zip. It holds 44 balls and again the zipper closes it up and you can take it home by throwing it in the back of your van or whatever the case may be. One of the disadvantages of these two is you, lo you lose storage space because of the zip. So that or they are the same size as the pick 65 and the same size as the pick 35 except you lose ball material because of the uh, zippers involved so that's how my pick have evolved over the years i want to uh, thank all the customers i've had over the last two and a half years i do appreciate you greatly look for the pricing on these items on my website in the very near future and thanks, Ms. Donna Landers.